We've talked previously of the Colossal Squid, an invertebrate who rivals the giant squid in size, but today we'll focus on the more well-known of these two giants. Giant squid, like Colossal Squid, can reach the length of a large school bus. As we discussed in our Colossal Squid episode, giant squid have longer arms and shorter mantles than Colossal Squid, but they're both the stuff of legends. Aside from filling sailors' tales of beasts from the deep, ravaging ships, giant squid have some of the largest eyes in the animal kingdom. Their eyes, like the colossal squids, can measure 10 inches in diameter. For comparison, that's about the size of a dinner plate. These big ol' eyes are helpful for detecting light in the dark depths of the sea. Giant squid are believed to live all throughout the world's oceans because their bodies have been found in all the world's oceans. Most giant squid research has come from these washed up bodies, because giant squid are difficult for us to reach. Based on the amount of bodies that have washed ashore in certain areas, it's believed giant squid don't prefer tropical or polar regions, instead sticking to more temperate waters. They have, however, been observed in both hemispheres. Giant squid are thought to inhabit deep water areas, and seem to have a preference for coastal and island slopes, or basically the parts of the ocean where the big drop-off occurs. They might seem like faraway creatures, but one was filmed in the last decade just 100 miles off the coast of Louisiana. So, they're living closer to our homes than some people may even realize. There's debate in the scientific community whether or not there is more than one species of giant squid. Technically, a squid isn't a true giant squid, unless it belongs to the genus in which giant squid are classified. So, technically, a colossal squid is not a giant squid, even though they're humongous. Some scientists believe there are as many as eight different giant squid species living in separate regions of the world. Others believe all giant squid are a single species. Until more research is completed, the verdict is still out on this. Giant squid are often closely associated with sperm whales, because sperm whales can bear scars of encounters with these giant invertebrates. Unlike the hooked claws of the colossal squid, a giant squid comes equipped with sharp, round discs that tear into whale blubber. Sperm whales are often found with the remains of giant squid in their stomachs, and so it's believed they represent one of the predators giant squid face. On the other hand, giant squid themselves are likely active hunters. It's believed that giant squid may search the waters for the glow of bioluminescent jellyfish, though they're not after jellyfish, but instead after whatever is causing the jellyfish to give off its warning glow. Animals such as fish, shrimp, and other squids are all believed to be a part of the giant squid's meal plan. Giant squid use their tentacles, the two longer appendages, to capture prey and bring it to their beak-like mouths. Giant squid reproduction is still relatively understudied, but scientists do know that the males don't break off one of their arms inside the female to transfer sperm the way most squid do. Instead, it's believed giant squid males stab their penis, which can reach 7 feet in length, into the arms of a female, and inject their sperm similar to some snails, to whom squids are somewhat related. At that point, it's unknown exactly what happens, but it's believed, like most cephalopods, Giant squid only reproduce once in their lifetimes, which are guessed to be a mere five years in length. For more facts on giant squids, check out the links in the description. Thank you to Candice Alcantara and Sonic Popsicle for today's request. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.